black man, feudal Japan, activism's DEI clan, early access season pass, Nobunaga's young piece of ass, dislikes over half a million, sweet baby kindred hates Brazilians, buy this game or you are a racist, says all the he she's with filtered faces, black rock, ESG, force western diversity, race swap androja, knee, chat GPT, A, I said nigga, Please. Happy birthday! When it comes to normal niggas, I'm Thursday. Jinkies, not even a mystery. Ugly bitch rewriting history. Cartoon pronoun always flattering. Feminine hate in media shattering. My immersion, my immortal. Flat chest manly women I chortle. Gamer X transmit and infect. Sweet baby DC disrespect. Please post that historic loss. Firmly grasp it, Ubisoft. Saints will reboot on a mission. Sayonara says vol. Volition, Tran, Drogeny, everyone, lay off that Pokemon. Active battle on Wikipedia, disinform and spin for media. Herman, Holster, Roki, Totoki, Jim Ryan, crank that hokey pokey. Women rage, throw bathtub ice, cathartic sugar to even out spice. Video games used to do something similar, then woke came to add salt and vinegar. No erection, here's my correction. No art should pass your safety inspection. Menstruate, that's your identity, trying to react. Educate like Rosemary Kennedy. Hey. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like this video and subscribe because when I read essays from people in my comments and come to the conclusion that you can't press a button, knowing it would bring me a little bit closer to being regarded as a person by the platform YouTube makes me feel like I need to choose my pronouns. Another game from Ubisoft, full of nonsense, another lead writer following Sweet Baby Inc. that I'm sure is no big deal because when they try to cancel people and hold up whom they follow, it's no big deal, right? We are not trying to cancel or deplatform people to silence or defund them, but so triggered by a response, are they, that they're ready at a moment's notice to argue with zero information and a lack of inclination to look it up while on the internet. Frankly, greedy Ubisoft as a sweet baby client isn't news. Unfortunately, neither is rewriting history to tell a forced story, lazily using diversity as its selling point. So forgive me for stepping over the conjecture that they'll use to spin a retainer into a samurai. The sentiment internationally is crystal clear. Assassin's Creed Japan starring black man is hypocrisy incarnate because the same industry activists that have condemned Resident Evil 5 because black zombies are, are the same ones praising fake chocolate samurai for being a diverse vehicle for Ubisoft, the quadruple A game publisher, and their message. You know, these people can't see themselves in a mirror, and they've made that our problem. When we're willing to pay for an escape, they need to stick their fingers in that and make it a lecture. We are paying for entertainment, but they're trying to make this education coming straight from the dumbest, out of touch, socially unaware echo chamber dwellers that subscribe to a backwards Bible with different definitions of everything that they will immediately chastise you for not aligning with in their crusade towards a new normal. You've been consequenced for noticing by now, haven't you? All I ever do is try to make people smile, but all I ever get accused of is hate. These times are literally Orwellian, and it's why the vernacular and hypocrisy of the morons with megaphones have been my focus. The rage-baiting grifters flinching at recognitions of what they have worked on whom they follow in screenshots of their own words, videos of their own behavior. You know, I learned these terms from them. It's projection. 
They realize now that their operation, ironically, needed to remain in the shadows. Brain damage helps accelerate a shift culturally that we've been waiting for because competition is inherently a little toxic. And that's what the games were built on. Jokes are meant to offend. So is art. But they need to nerf that. They need to make it safe. You know? Any comedian believes that. That's what comedy needs is to be safe. <laughs> they reject you. Sweet baby inks, Ubisoft. Whatever loser is watching me eager to form disingenuous arguments, let me play devil's advocate and reminding woke cheerleaders that your audience is, is children. That's why you have to keep your brain dead straw mans and, and gaslighting so broad. So I embrace your assertion that if I don't spend my money on a Ubisoft game, that I must be racist, according to Woke. That if I buy Hogwarts Legacy, I must be a phobe. Uh-huh. It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is what you're saying to people. What you're doing to these people. They reject that sensitivity, that DEI injection, that ESG cringe. This aggressive HRT soaked messaging from out of touch, talentless swine. I'm impressed because we men were once regarded as the pigs. But who can compare to you activists visibly fighting reality? You observe the writing on the wall, but you're illiterate to it. So you chant in unison that you can't even and just don't understand. Some of you lacking integrity are journalists, but are so dim-witted in your comfortable confidence in the bubble that is your echo chamber that you gleefully like proclaim that you don't get it. You're proud to not get it. You're cheering on the Saints Row. What repulses us is what you're down with. On Reddit, a person simply comments, any other Asian people disappointed that we don't get an Asian main character? They were banned for this comment. Not like funny, silly, cute Twitch ban where you know you can come back after a suspension. They're done. It was more than enough. Dissent is more than enough. Don't ask questions. Don't take issue. Don't speak ill. Consume. Any problems will be dealt with soon. Any and all unapproved recognition is toxicity. And if you think I'm a special case and am blocked and banned for unique reasons, wait until it happens to you. Wait until it happens to more close to you. Stay tuned. I plan to show you games that I'm looking forward to before, you know, the inevitable. But the words that they use, the colonization, these, these are things they are guilty of. We can claim to know racists who know better than to compromise business with boneheaded decisions. But I promise my main push now is for YouTube to allow us to speak our goddamn minds harmlessly. The way that other languages are allowed to. I know it's their house, it's their rules, but why can the other languages be real? You want traffic on this site, right? Mortal Kombat and Grand Theft Auto play a huge role in how gaming has evolved, and losers trying to make games sensitive could never have created anything that would appeal or resonate for this long. It wouldn't have made it to this point for them to try to ruin if it started as pussy as they're trying to make it. <sighs> You're watching the industry break and I'm not going to tell you how it breaks. I want you to show me. I want you to show me the cracks that indicate to you specifically how this is really reaching a point of no return. Thank you for your vote. Not for me, but to push back it's so hard that BlackRock's losing money to the tune of trillions.
I'm hearing them literally utter phrases like, you're not winning, you know? They have to say that out loud. Thank you for 93,000 subs. I try to be honest, and I can't help notice that that's not popular on a platform like this. It is, in fact, something that uh, people are punished for. I'm sorry things get removed. I'm sorry that I... I'm not better prepared to put that up where you, it would be available to you. I'm never sorry for anything, but I'm sorry if you feel like you're being pushed too. And that it's getting hard to hold on to that bullshit that's supposed to keep you from pushing back. These selfish, no restraint activists that afford the luxury with their comfortable life of running their mouth and gleefully ruining people's lives by robbing them of outlets. You know, it doesn't leave me with a lot of options sometimes. I don't want anyone to feel like that. And I, I feel like sooner or later people are gonna slip up and it'll be the last mistake that they make before someone is dispatched to handle them. Life is unfair, but I I think I'm done watching people try their best to keep it that way. It's just a video game, right? It's just an outlet. It's just 380,000 dislikes. It's just Sweet Baby Ink. It's just one sensitivity consultation. It's always just something. A glass of a drink to take the edge off at the end of the day. And these people are trying their best to remove the alcohol, to dilute it, to make it, by definition, the opposite of what you paid for. No. No.